Well, greetings all, Kevin here. Now this one might sound a bit daft, but uh, I was at work the other day and we were a bit bored, you know, because all the clients were behaving themselves, uh, all the paperwork was done, and there was nothing to do. And there was a question that had been bugging me for quite a while now, and uh, so I thought, well, and nobody knew the answer, so I thought, I'll look on the internet. So I did the old Google bit and researched it, and, um, and the question was, why are yawns contagious? You know, and, it, and everybody was trying to think, ah, oh, well, no, it's because you're tired and they're tired, or the, uh, you, your body's short of oxygen, so that's why it does it. And I, well, I said, well, that sounds like a feasible answer. And then, uh, no, but no, my mind wasn't settled, so I went in and found out. And basically, you know, because there were some scientists who have done some research into it, um, when somebody yawns, and you yawn as well, you know, of course, it always works with me, you know, especially like if I'm on a day shift at work, you know, so quarter past six in the morning and I'm in the car with a couple of mates going to work somebody yawns because they tell you they, they, they go ah oh, god no, oh. you know they're like, like, like something like bloody lying and uh, apparently we're being empathetic towards them you know they're tired so oh well you know, uh, no, you know I uh, empathise with you, you know, and I'm a bit tired myself so you have a yawn and, uh, and that, apparently that's why and then um, apparently, apparently uh, fetuses yawn as well and, uh, and they even did some research into different species, you know. So they took some students around the zoo, and then um, and then you know when the when the lion yawned, you know there was a few people that yawned as well. But when humans yawned, the lions didn't do it back because they were thought, what a puny yawn that is. And apparently, uh, well, quite relevant to the work that I do, working with uh, people who have mental health problems. Uh, if a person is psychotic. Uh, or schizophrenic, no, then they won't. Uh, no, then they won't find yawns contagious. And then we thought, well, that's true, you know, because we have a couple of, of um, patients, stroke clients, at our place, and well, you never see them yawn, and uh, when you yawn, no, they never do. You, yep, they're a nutter, and that's why. You know, so it was just one of those days. So now you know uh, why you wrong, why yawns are contagious. All right. It's because mainly, you no, know, the vast majority of it, right, you're being empathetic towards the person that has the yawn. Right, so we use this information for you there. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day. The weather's miserable over here in New Zealand, but it's about to get better because it's nearly summertime. Take care, bye bye now.